Pretty amazing stuff here at Californion, the leader in LED lighting technology. Only four tools are required for assembly of the Neon Flex product. Blunt nose pliers, anvil shears, a sharp point awl or pick, and a heat gun. Next you will need to gather your Neon Flex supplies. The Flex product itself, the power cord or power supply, the H pin or power pin, also needed will be the PVC end cap, a heat shrink tube, and non-conductive silicone sealant. In some assemblies, various joint connectors may be utilized. Basic assembly procedures remain the same. Color identification. After selecting your style of neon flex, Locate the color identification dot on the side of the flex spool. This is the color of the flex you will be assembling. Making the cut. With your tools and supplies at hand, you are ready to begin. First, note that the end of each circuit is marked with a dotted line. Cuts may only be made at this point. To begin, Count the number of sections you will need for your application. Then locate the dotted line. Using your anvil shears, cut the neon flex exactly on the dotted line. You are now ready to install the H-pin or power pin. Using the awl or pick, separate the center of the wires in the end of the neon flex, making a small hole for placement of the power pin. The power pin will have two barbed prongs and two smooth prongs. Insert the barbed prongs into the spaces in the wire created with the awl. Then, using the blunt nose pliers, push the pin into the flex until the plastic center of the pin touches. You are now ready to install the power cord. With the heat gun, gently warm the end of the power cord just until it is pliable. Then position the power cord onto the power pin and push the two pieces together until they are snug. You will now need to fasten this connection with a heat shrink tube. Insert an end of the Neon Flex product through the center of a heat shrink tube. Center the tube over the connection to be sealed. Using the heat gun, Gently heat the shrink tube until it retracts into its sealing position. Heat the tube to make sufficient contact, but do not overheat.
You will now need to seal the other end of your application. With the heat gun, gently warm the end cap. Then, place a small amount of non-conductive silicone sealant inside the cap and place the cap onto the end of the neon flex. Using a heat shrink tube, cover the end cap connection and with the heat gun warm the tube until it seals into place. Caution is required to not overheat. If your application is to be utilized outdoors, it will be necessary to seal the ends of the heat shrink tube with a non-conductive silicone sealant. Place a small bead of the sealant at each end of the tube and then smooth the beads to ensure proper coating and coverage. Once the sealant has cured, the Neon Flex is ready for installation. You may plug it into the appropriate power source and test its lighting ability. Upon occasion, it may be necessary to splice two pieces of Neon Flex. Following similar preparation procedures, use the awl to separate the wires in the end of the Neon Flex. Then, with the blunt nose pliers, install the H splice pin. The splice pin can be denoted by the barbed prongs on both ends of the pin. With gentle pressure, push the pin into the flex. Using the awl, repeat the wire separation procedure on the other section of neon flex. Place a heat shrink tube over the flex and join the two sections together. If the application is to be placed outdoors, the gap that remains between the two sections of flex should now be filled with a non-conductive silicone sealant.
If the application is to be placed outdoors, place a small bead of silicone around each end of the heat shrink tube and smooth the bead to ensure even contact. Your splice is now complete. The neon flex can be held in its display position by securing it into an aluminum mounting channel. After securing the channel in position, start with one end of the neon flex and press it into the mounting channel. Then, using one hand to guide the neon flex, use the other to gently push it into the mounting track for the length of your application. Your application is now complete.